Hello financial fans, I bought two stocks this week. This is the 8th of April 2023 and during the week that has just passed I bought FNF, is that right? FNF is the symbol. I bought it for $34.55 and I bought PXD I think I added to my position there, but PXD I bought at uh, $209.75 per share. And we shall see what happens with that. I think one of the stocks is up since I bought it a tiny bit and the other is down a tiny little bit since I bought it. The uh, indexes uh, beginning with uh, SPY, the S&P 500 for this past uh, week. As of right now, year to date, SPY, S&P 500 is up 7.4, is it 7.4? Yes, 7.4%. The Dow Industrial Average, DIA, the Exchange Traded Fund, DIA, is up for the year, year to date, uh, it is up 1.6%, which is uh, at least up and uh, it's got a lot of months to go to get uh, much higher. The QQQ, the NASDAQ index, doing a phenomenal job so far this year. So far this year it is up 19.6%. And my own um, uh, holdings, the uh, portfolio I have, is up 5 0.2%, which is good for the year, not up to the level of the S&P 500, which is what we're all trying to beat all the time. But uh, everyone seems to be doing pretty well. Everyone's in positive territory uh, as far as the major indexes are concerned. And there are some stocks that have uh, reasonably good numbers that we'll look at and see if uh, it's something we might want to uh, jump in and buy. We'll begin with a stock that has a symbol CVE. And I believe all our stocks uh, this week are in the energy field one way or another. Synovus, I guess that's the pronunciation, Synovus Energy Incorporated, symbol CVE, closed uh, down for the week uh, to $17.78 per share and after hours up a little bit $17.82 per share being the price. Column on the left two-thirds of the way down 52 week range for CVE. It, it was as low as $14.44 per share and it was as high as $24.91 per share at some time during the past 52 weeks. The volume, the average volume, about 7.5 million shares trade each day and this stock is considered to be undervalued. The uh, beta is worth mentioning uh, almost three times as much uh, movement with this stock as you would get with the market in general. If the market goes up uh, 1%, this might go up uh, almost 3%. If it goes down 1%, this might go down almost 3%. But that's a very hard to pin down uh, number for sure, the beta. But uh, it's interesting that this one has been uh, bouncing up and down higher than the market in general. PE ratio for CVE, PE ratio is 7.47. The uh, Forward dividend yield, very small, under 2%, uh, is what you get for holding on to the stock, but the one-year target uh, estimate, $24.14, so that would be a big move upward. Next, we look at Halliburton Company, H-A-L is the symbol, and the 52-week range for Halliburton, $23.30 per share was the low, and $43.99 was the high during the uh, past 52 months. Average volume, almost 10 million shares trade every day, and Halliburton is considered to be undervalued at this time. And again, a high beta over 2, and the P.E. ratio is higher than I usually would go uh, looking for in a stock, but uh, the other numbers look pretty well, so the 
0.91 is uh, still lower than the market in general for the P.E. ratio. The forward dividend and yield uh, under 2% here again. This is not uh, giving us a lot of money for holding on to it. But the one-year target estimate, $48.72 per share. So we'll see what happens with that and this being a year when we will hear more and more promises from politicians as we get closer to the uh, upcoming election in uh, 2024. Next we look at Slumber J, SLB is the symbol and the price after hours $49.50 per share. 52 week range for Slumber J. $30.65 was the low for the past 52 weeks and $59.45 was the high. The average volume about 10 million shares trade every day and this stock is considered to be near fair value. The P.E. ratio, again a high P.E. ratio for me, not uh, for the market in general, but higher than I usually look at, uh, a little over 20, well, a lot over 20, 20.76. 20 and the earnings per share are $2.39. They use only $1 of that to get a small yield, so it's not uh, one you would want to buy as a dividend paying stock and hope to uh, get by with a 2% return on your money. But the one year target estimate $64.23 for Slumber J in a uh, stock that is, uh, it's been around a long time, probably will be around for a long time yet to come. Total Energies is the last stock we'll look at today, symbol TTE, $63 a share after hours. The 52-week range, the low was $44.61, the high was $65 and a nickel. The average volume, about 2 million shares trade every day, and this, this stock is considered to be near fair value. The P.E. ratio, 8, that we like. The forward dividend and yield, almost 5% return on your investment if you hold on to it. The one year target $73.72. And I thank you very much for watching.